In this lecture, we will perform the graphical integration of these three signal waveforms and we already know graphical integration is applicable only for those signal waveforms which are constituted of rectangular pulses. In case number one, we only have rectangular pulses and other than that signal is equal to zero. In case number two also, we only have rectangular pulses and other than that signal is equal to zero. In the third case, again we only have rectangular pulses. So we can use graphical integration in all the three cases to find out signal yt. Now what is signal yt? Signal xt is the input signal and signal yt is an output signal and the system which we are using in this case is performing the integration. So we are using an integrator. Signal xt is fed as an input and output yt is taken out of the system. So yt is equal to integration of signal x tau d tau from minus infinity to t and we will increase this t slowly and we will take it up to infinity so that we can have the integration from minus infinity to infinity. So let's start the integration which is the graphical integration in case number one when signal xt is having the waveform like this and we already know the final value of integration is going to be the total area. So in other words we can say that the integration will continue with the total area and in this case if you calculate the total area it will be zero because the area of this rectangle, area of this rectangle is equal to 8, 4 multiplied by 2 is equal to 8 and area of this rectangle is minus 8. This rectangle is having area equal to minus 8. So the total area, the total area is equal to 8 plus minus 8 which is going to be 0. So our integration will continue with this as its final value. Now we will plot the waveform of signal yt. We will start from minus infinity and we will increase t slowly and let's say t is equal to 0. So we are integrating from minus infinity to 0 and you can see signal xt is equal to 0 from minus infinity to 0. So yt is going to be 0 from minus infinity to 0. So we will have the waveform like this and after this let's increase t little bit more and make it equal to 2. So we will increase t more and we will make it equal to 2. When t is equal to 2, you can see the area of signal xt is going to be 8. From minus infinity to 0 it is 0, but from 0 to 2 the area is equal to 8. So when t is equal to 2, signal y it is having the value equal to 8 and the area will increase linearly. When you increase time t very slowly, you will have the linear increment in the area. So we can join these two points and we will have the waveform like this. Now after this, we will make t equal to 4. So from minus infinity to 4, you can see the total area is going to be 0. So when t is equal to 4, the area or integration is equal to 0 and the area will decrease linearly. So we'll have the waveform like this. And as 0 is the total area, the integration will continue with it. This means if you increase t more, more than 4 and you go on increasing up till infinity, you will find the same area which is 0. So this is how the waveform of signal yt will look. And now in the question number 2, we will quickly perform all the steps of question number 1. The total area we will calculate first, the total area. The total area in this particular case is again equal to 0 because this rectangle is having the area equal to 8 and then we have 0 from 2 to 4 and this rectangle is having the area equal to minus 8. So the total area is 8 plus minus 8 which is 0. So our integration will continue with 0. Now let's quickly find out the waveform of signal yt. From minus infinity to 0 we will have 0 because integration or total area from minus infinity to 0 is 0. And after that, we will increase our t and make it 2. So from minus infinity to 2, the total area is equal to 8. So when t is equal to 2, we will have 8. Area will increase linearly. So we have the straight line like this. Now, 
when t is equal to 4 this means integration from minus infinity to 4 you can see the area is going to be same because from 2 to 4 signal value is equal to 0 so the area will remain same which is equal to 8 so we will have a constant value like this from 2 to 4 and after this the area will reduce and it will reduce till t equal to 6 and it will become 0 and it will continue with it so this is the waveform of the second signal and now we will move to the third signal having this waveform and we will follow all the previous steps which we have done till now so the total area the total area is equal to area of this rectangle which is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 which is 4 plus area of this bigger rectangle which is 3 multiplied by 5 so 15 and then we will subtract this area area of this rectangle and it will be equal to 3 multiplied by 2 which is 6 now when you solve it you will get the total area equal to 13 and thus our integration will continue with 13 from minus infinity to 0 xt is 0 so area is also going to be 0 this means integration is 0 because area is nothing but the integration of signal xt with respect to time now we will increase our t and we will make it equal to 2 and this time we will not have the area equal to 0 but it is equal to 4 so when t is equal to 2 the area is equal to 4 so we have the waveform like this now we will make t equal to 4 and this time we are going to get area equal to 4 plus 2 multiplied by 5 which is 10 but let's increase it little bit more and we will make it equal to 5 so the net area we are going to get is equal to 15 plus 4 that is 19 so when t is equal to 5 we will have signal y t equal to 19 this is 19 here this is 4 here and after that we will make our t equal to 7 and thus we will subtract the area of this rectangle and we will have 13 so the area will reduce like this and it will settle at 13 and the area or the integration will continue with 13 when t is equal to 7 we have y t equal to 13 when t is equal to 5 this is 5 here we have 19 when t is equal to 2 we have 4 so this is how the waveform of the integrated signal will look and till infinity it will continue with 13 so i hope you now understand how to perform the graphical integration and if you have any doubt regarding this you may ask in the comment section in the coming presentation we will solve few more questions based on graphical integration